right, we are starting off with a pizza crust today and we're gonna top it off with some olive oil as our base. This is a very unique, delicious and easy pizza recipe. You guys have to try, it's gonna be so good. First, we're gonna season it up before we add the good stuff. So I'm gonna do some black pepper. It's important that you add your seasonings before you do the cheese. And this is actually something I learned from you guys. So I do read your comments and I appreciate you. Then we're gonna do a little bit of salt. There we go. Yummy. Now we're gonna to get to the cheese. We're gonna do some mozzarella. I cannot wait to show you guys what kind of pizza we're making. This is not your average pizza. It's something you've probably never even seen before, but it is so good. You just absolutely must try it. You probably have this sitting in your fridge, the main ingredient of this, and it's something that I always kind of forget about. I don't eat it too much, but if I knew about this recipe and I had that in my fridge, I would be running to my fridge and making this. So you guys are going to really love this. Now we're gonna come in with some Parmesan cheese. We're already almost done. This does not take too many ingredients at all. It is so easy. And you can actually skip the Parmesan cheese if you want. The mozzarella is important. I wouldn't trade out that um, kind of cheese for anything else because it just pairs so perfectly with what we're going to top this off with. Now we're going to do some chopped basil. You could snip up some basil leaves if you want. I think that would be really good. But you know me and my page. I love things easy and simple for you guys because I know you all are just like hardworking mothers or you have families or just, you know, crazy jobs where you get home and you don't want to be in the kitchen for two to three hours. Like you just want to whip something up that's super good, but also not a TV dinner. So that is why I like to keep it easy for you guys. All right. Now, before we get to the best part, we are going to top this off with some ricotta cheese. All right, this is our final ingredient until I share with you guys the secret, but I'm gonna take my ice cream scoop and we're just gonna do like big clumps, just like that. Oh yeah. Oh my goodness. This is gonna spread around nicely in the oven, but I love big clumps of ricotta. I don't like to spread it on my pizzas because I don't know, just something about you let your mouth hitting that ricotta in that random moment is just so Great. Okay, I'm gonna shift this one over here. Maybe we'll stuff just one more right there. Beautiful. Oh, this is looking so good. All right. Now for the best part of this pizza, and I'm sure you have not guessed it, it's going to be some blackberries. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is the key to a wonderful pizza. And we're just gonna place these all around. Maybe some could just like be swimming in that ricotta. Oh, so good. But let me tell you guys, I make this um, blackberry grilled cheese. It's like a vegan blackberry grilled cheese because I'm vegan. But it is so, so good. Like you would not expect fruits to be so good with cheese, but it is insanely amazing. So. Highly recommend, and I saw this recipe for pizza that is just looking so good, so fancy. So we're giving it a whirl here. Oh, this is looking so beautiful with those blackberries. Wow. All right, so I think, you know what? I really wanna go for it. So just spread those around, and these are gonna juice up in the oven. That's the best part about cooking with blackberries is they're just gonna smush up and be nice and juicy. Mm. All right, this is ready for the oven. So let's go ahead and slide this onto our pizza pan. Ooh, yum. Oh, that fits perfectly. All right, now I've got my oven set to 350 degrees and this is gonna cook for about 12 to 15 minutes. Ooh, I'm so excited. Mm, and it goes. Okay. 
Okay, we are starting off with some Grand's Biscuits today. You wanna make sure that you cut them in half and then we're gonna go ahead and just roll them out. So you can even start by just stretching it. And you just wanna make kind of little logs, just like that. Doesn't have to be perfect because they're not gonna stay this way. We're gonna do something super fun with them. So let's just go ahead and get those all taken care of. This is going to be so delicious. It's such an easy way to do everyone's favorite appetizer that always goes with pizza. I always thought it was such a hard thing to make, especially if you're trying to go homemade, but luckily Pillsbury exists and they just make it so easy. All right, look at that. There's no special technique. You could use a rolling pin if you want. I actually just bought one and I forgot that I had one, but here we are. I'm just gonna roll with it. Get it? <laughs> okay. Final one, so quick and easy. All right, so here is what we are gonna do with these, okay? So you're gonna take your long piece of dough and you're just gonna tie a knot just like when you tie a shoe. So crossing over, okay, we're going back to elementary school here. And then, but it is a little tricky because this is dough. So that's why you want it to be long. We're gonna just, Fold under, okay? You don't need to like pull it apart like you would with a regular knot, but just like that. And we'll place it onto our pan. And then you just repeat that process. Oh my gosh, so easy. So if I'm sure you already know what we're making with these, we're making garlic knots. Look how easy it is to do this technique of shaping them into knots. Did you have any idea that this was that easy? I definitely did not. I saw this recipe and I saw the photo and I was like, how the heck do you do that? But then I practiced on camera, real... but then I practiced off camera real quick and I like shocked myself. I was like, wait a minute, duh, just tie a knot. So easy. Look at that, so cute. Oh, I love garlic knots. These are always the best things to eat with your pizza, you don't even have to eat it with anything. You could just have this as your meal. It's so good. I love garlic knots with pasta too. So if you're having a pasta night, get yourself some garlic knots. It's just so easy to do. We're already almost done. These are about to go in the oven. You just know we gotta brush it with that good stuff and that doesn't really take much. So we're almost done. Final one, oh, so cute. Perfect, okay. I'm gonna bring this over and we are going to start topping this off. All right, so I've got some melted butter here. Of course, you knew this was coming. And then, of course, we need some garlic. I'm gonna use garlic paste. I think it's just easier than the minced garlic because it kind of, you know, it's a little chunky with the mincings. So I like when it's just already this paste. All right, so I'm using about a tablespoon of this, which was all I had left. Perfect. And then, we're gonna mix in some chopped parsley. Mmm. I'm only gonna use half, we'll use the rest later. Give that a nice juicy mix. Oh, that looks so good. It smells good too. All right, now let's just quickly brush these guys. And you wanna really make sure to coat it because, you know, we always love juicy garlic nuts. The worst part of a garlic knot is when they forget a piece of it with that butter and they skimp on it. Ugh, then you're just eating bread. That's no fun. All right, so really get in there. Mmm, and this butter will act as like a non-stick. You see how it's like kind of falling underneath? So you don't even need to spray your pan. So that saves you some time and money with that. Oh my, yum. Oh, these are just so cute. I cannot get over that I made knots, you guys. I really thought it was much harder than that. Okay, now we do have some more of that parsley left, so I'm gonna go ahead and just top them all off by sprinkling, oh, that one was a lot. I'll give that one to my boyfriend. <laughs> okay, look at that, so pretty. Yeah, just a nice sprinkle will do. 
Amazing. Okay, now I'm gonna pop these in the oven, 350 degrees for about 12 minutes. Look at that. What did I tell you about those blackberries? Oh my gosh. I am like, oh, I just love this so much. Okay, let's just quickly get this onto a prettier platter. And then we're gonna grab our garlic nuts. Oh, it is hot. I am daring with this. Oh, so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Now we've got those garlic nuts. Ooh, they look so good. Oh my gosh. And look what the parsley did to them, the way it dyed them green. What? Now we're gonna also make these look nice and cute. Oh my gosh. Yummy, they smell so good. Good. Mm -mm -mm. You could also drizzle more butter on top of these to make them extra moist, but you know, I like to save on the butter sometimes. So, oh wow, this is gourmet right here. And look how easy and quick that was. Oh my gosh, okay, it's time to dig in. All right, let's go ahead and slice into this bad boy. Oof. Okay, I think I'm gonna go right there. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, I just cannot get over those blackberries. So fun. Oh, wow. Beautiful. Oh, oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. That is awesome. I love that. Okay, and then we grab ourselves a nice Garlic knot. Mm, it smells so good. Do you want to take a bite? Yeah. Okay, I don't know what to try first. I'm gonna just take a quick bite of the garlic. Mm. Mm, that is good. It okay. looks so cute. Now for the best part. Oh, I'm jealous. I want a bite of this. Mm. Oh yeah, that is good, Allie. Yeah. Hey. 